one of the places you're giving is to Albania, and this is Pastor Lawrence's church. I just pulled these pictures off Facebook. But their church, this is, they are growing. And uh, this is a new building that they're in, uh, way better than when we were there uh, in increase. Uh, that's their Sunday school department. And uh, this is a camp uh, outside. There's the, you know, this is, this is really updated compared to uh, what was there. And, I, and uh, I'm telling you, things are still tough there. This is not like an abundance of, in that nation. And that's a new building that they're in. I think he showed it to me the last time I was there. Uh, his office, all this is just uh, a lot different than what we saw before. And that's a lot more people. Uh, they've had, they had some people exodus, and then they've got some people, you know, most of them are coming back. they just got some great things worked out with their leadership. They're doing evangelism in many little villages. Uh, and this is a Bible study, uh, outreaches, uh, Sunday school teaching program, uh, outreaches to the villages. And Lawrence lives down in the southern part of Albania, which is up in the mountains, and they see a lot of snow. Uh, a lot of cold weather uh, in a lot of these villages, as you can see in the kind of background, they, they, are, they are poor. It's still an incredibly poor place. Uh, so a lot of children's outreach ministries. Uh, this is a summer camp with a bunch of kids. Uh, you know, there, there is kind of a beautiful place getting to Lawrence's. It's quite a trip to get down there, but it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, taking a whole church out for a, a, a beach party and. Uh, it's so, pretty neat, and uh, guess what that says. But anyway, that's just one. We they're they're really struggling yet uh, to to keep enough money going for this orphanage that Peter started. I don't know if you know Peter, but Peter and I talk. He's in London now, uh, and Ken Son, like I said, I've been chatting with him on Skype, which just blows my mind every time he gets on with his little hat and he puts his headphones on and he looks at me and grins and and it just if you knew where Lo'o was and how tough it's get there and what little's been there, and then to think that he's actually able to Skype out of there, it's really something. But he's actually overseeing about three works right now, churches. They bought a car for $1,000 that you and I wouldn't take if somebody gave it to us. Uh, you can't believe how rough that thing is, how old it is. And, and, uh, but he's tickled pink because it can get him to places to have Bible studies and et cetera. Is that about it for our Adopt-A-Pastor program? I think that's, that's pretty much it. So all you're giving just on a consistent basis, you think about 20 years of investing, you think about those people, remember somebody passed away up in Montana, and the kids, grandkids finally went and checked it out, you know, trying to work through the inheritance, all that. Didn't think he had much. He lived up there in a little ranch and found out he bought AT&T stock way back in the 20s or 30s. And he was a multi multi millionaire uh, off of those stock, and they had no clue until they dug and found these old stocks in a in a box. Uh, he just never ever checked on what how they did and I just think about the reward that you and I will have just by being connected with so many people all over the world, but mostly right here, but boy, I tell you what uh, celebrate your giving, celebrate what 's going on if you want to give a little extra adopt a pastor that 'd be great. Father, we thank you for that opportunity, glory to God, that we are alive, and not only are we are getting to live and exist on this earth, but we're getting to be, uh, we're, we're able to be involved in literally thousands, ten thousands, hundreds of thousands of people's lives over, the, over these last 25, 26 years, and more to come. And it just keeps increasing, and it just keeps increasing, and Father, we want to just thank you for the opportunity you've given to us to, to join with you in your business that is going to absolutely pay dividends for the rest of eternity uh, of, of relationship and friendships and, and, uh, and harmony. And so we thank you for this opportunity in Jesus' name, and we celebrate this opportunity, and we invest wisely into your kingdom. And our expectations are high, Lord. You have promised us great reward, and our expectations are high because of what you've told us. Amen.